we're, we're much more likely to succeed with direct communication with teachers and not going through intermediaries. You know, I hold my colleagues responsible. Why are we indoctrinating teachers into certain points of view? Why are we making it hard for them to evaluate what scientific claims? You know, people claim lots of things. Teachers are really very few, unless they sought out the, unless they've gained the experience, the, the expertise themselves, you know, teachers aren't even given the tools to evaluate claims. They have to rely on authorities. And you know, authorities aren't always that reliable. I, I, I can't give you the specific answer. I think the answer comes from dealing with teachers more directly and in a way that is cooperative. I don't necessarily think universities are the best vehicle for doing that. Perhaps, I don't know. But certainly uh, other ways of bringing uh, teachers together with people who have knowledge that would be of help, I think is, is important. I've tried to convey to my colleagues who are researchers that they need to do a lot more work in terms of not just explaining the science, but doing science that is actually more directly related to what happens in the classroom. We need to have much more translational research. That is research that doesn't just deal with these general ideas, but really translates them into, well, what's gonna be most effective in the classroom? How can a teacher make use of these ideas? So I'm trying to pressure people on the science side too, to do much more work that connects to the to the actual needs of the classroom teacher.